Hi there, welcome to a practical workshop looking at sound calculations, specifically looking at our sound reduction calculation. Um, it depends on a couple of things. So noise reduction depends on TL, which is transmission loss. So this is the wall. So how much is that wall sort of absorbing? How much will that wall stop the sound coming through? That's what we call transmission loss that you can get from manufacturer data or you can measure it um, using other calculations, okay? Once we've worked out that wall, that it's not just reliant on that. That's That will reduce the sound by so much, but actually you need to think about the fact that um, inside any noise that gets through does get reflected. So it not only comes through the transmitting surface, so it comes through that wall. So how much of that, how much of that wall is the sound coming through? And then we need to consider um, the absorption of the receiving space. So how much sound is getting reflected back? How much, you know, so, so the actual sound we hear in a space from, you know, from outside depends on those three things um, and this is the formula we use to count this is the relationship between those three elements okay um, so I'm pulling it apart I've done my calculations down here so I've worked out my floor areas my glazed door areas my window areas my common wall areas my internal wall areas whew, all from this uh, floor plan okay and Sabine this is the the complicated thing because the area of the wall is quite easy to work out isn't it really um but the Sabine formula you have to find for each specific material you have to get the absorption coefficient okay so our window window absorption coefficient is 0.12 and our window area is 17.72 so we times them together so that's the Sabine that's the absorption that's for the window then we have to do that for the wall we do that for the floor and we do that for the ceiling because they're all different materials now if you have things that are the same materials obviously I'm saying my windows and my um, glazed doors I am saying are all the same absorption okay now you might have materials that are different so you need to consider what that material is and what that area is of that material so that's how much the sound's going to get absorbed by okay so once I've got all those figures as you can see I've put my Sabine down here I've got my TL here 53 um, and then I've got my area of my wall which I've worked out down here and then my Sabine um, I've worked out using this table I've just kind of put my absorption my areas and that gives me all the values I need okay so as you can see I've put them all in there so my noise reduction is 53 which is my transmission loss take away 4.53 so all of those walls are basically reflecting back 4.53 decibels which means i'm only absorbing really um i'm only reducing the noise by 48.47 decibels so if my street noise was 74 decibels outside i'd be getting 20 5.53 in the room okay please feel free to use this and um i've just got a sheet here which is just showing you um information so part e building regulations you need to have uh insulation of uh, 45 yeah so we're talking that's your minimum bear in mind ours was 48 we're all right <laughs> okay um so here again it's just data really these are the different types of walls and that's your transmission so that transmittance um transmission loss value depends on what materials your walls made of and there's a couple of examples for you um and then wall assemblies here again manufacturer data and engineering toolbox is where i kind of go for a lot of my tools as well as sibsi um and there's a lot of information there about the coefficients so if you're looking for a standard coefficient Okay, please feel free to have a go and thanks for your time. Take care.